Hey there, my fellow viewers. Buckle up, because today we're diving headfirst into a whirlwind of breaking news that's sending shockwaves through the K-drama world. The dramatic love triangle between Han So-hee, Hieri, and Ryu jun Yol, and its latest plot twists. In the previous video, I mentioned the possibility that Han so hee might have inadvertently misled Hieri without her realizing it after she used the wrong timing of Hieri and Ryu jun Yol's breakup as a defense against accusations of transit love. This mistake led Han So-hee to quickly delete all the content on her blog and set her Instagram account to private. Amidst escalating chaos, Dispatch finally stepped in with their bombshell exclusive report. On March 18th, the notorious sleuths of the K-entertainment industry, who had rushed to Hawaii following the rumors surrounding Han So Hee and Ryu Jun Yol erupting on March 15th, exclusively reported about another rendezvous of this couple in Hawaii on March 16th. However, what they witnessed was far from their expectations. Their date didn't seem like a date. According to Dispatch, while their rumored romance was sending Korea into a frenzy, the atmosphere during their rendezvous was rather tense, with an uncomfortable silence prevailing. Han so hee seemed more focused on her phone than her food or Ryu jun Yeol, while Ryu jun Yeol himself simply ate and looked at her without uttering a single word. This date also included Han so hees close friend photographer Park ye yoon who was acquainted with Ryu jun Yeol as well. Park ye yoon was rumored to be the matchmaker who introduced Han so hee to Ryu jun Yeol at what is believed to be their first meeting in November 2023 at Ryu Jun Yeol's exhibition. Meanwhile, when the onlookers seemed to notice them, the trio quickly left. Throughout the journey back to their accommodation, the atmosphere remained somber and heavy. Han So Hee's friend continuously patted her back in consolation, with Ryu Jun Yeol walking behind them. While Han So Hee appeared upset, constantly checking the public's reactions, Ryu Jun Yeol seemed rather angry. He may have felt heartbroken, sensing unfairness and simmering with internal frustration. Ryu jun Yeol was also reported by Dispatch to have returned to Korea on March 17th with heavy footsteps. Dispatch even expressed sympathy for the couple, commenting, Love is not a sin, but they had to check the reaction of the public as if they were sinning. To further attest to the innocence of this new couple, Dispatch also provided evidence that Hieri and Ryu jun Yeol had been distant and rarely in contact with each other for quite some time, and the peak of the rift was when Ryu jun Yeol did not attend Hieri Harry's birthday celebration in June 2023. And that Harry felt betrayed is understandable when her ex-boyfriend was spotted with another woman in Hawaii just under four months after their breakup. Reading through the entire dispatch report, it feels like Han So Hee and Ryu Jun Yeol are victims of the transit love accusations, while Hayeri's minor jealousy made the situation unnecessarily worse. Dispatch seems to have depicted the situation quite perfectly, but there's something about this report that makes me feel uncomfortable, even though I'm not a fan of these three actors. I wonder when did Dispatch's demon turn into such a cute love angel, fiercely defending a couple against public opinion? I'm not sure what's going on, but to me, it seems staged to perfection with those high-resolution photos. My belief was reinforced when Hieri officially spoke out on March 18th with a now-deleted Instagram post. In it, Hieri apologized for her mood affecting many people. However, Hieri also confirmed on her own that she and Ryu's eight-year relationship hadn't truly ended even when it was reported in November, and that although they hadn't met since then, they were still discussing it. Therefore, it's difficult to say whether Han So Hee was the main cause of the breakup between Hyrie and Ryu Jun Yeol or not. Meanwhile, the conversation between Han So Hee and Hong Jin Kyung from two years ago suddenly went viral. In this conversation, Hong Jin Kyung stated that men and women cannot be friends without romantic feelings for each other, to which Han So Hee responded by saying that she indeed had some male friends. Hong mentioned that someone might have a crush on Han. Immediately, Han So so he refuted this, waving her hand and saying that just the thought of one of her friends having feelings for her would make her scared. However, Han So He also revealed her personal story. A male friend of hers was in a relationship, and his girlfriend didn't understand their friendship because she feared that men and women couldn't have purely platonic friendships. While this conversation resurfaced, netizens also didn't forget to bring up Jisoo's warnings when she clarified her viewpoint that there's no such thing as friendship between men and women unless they've known each other for more than 10 years. What do you think about it? 